Welcome to CC Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're looking at a May June 2019 paper. That's the Agricultural Science Single Award paper. And we're going to be focusing our attention today on question number two. Remember, you can find us online at CC Biology TCP or you can find us at TCP academy.teachable.com. Um, if you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it's definitely time for you to do so. And when you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified whenever there's a new publication. You want to also click that like button so the videos will be saved to your playlist. That if this video were to be turned off, you'd still have access to it. Share the video so more persons will have access to the video and you'll be seeing more of such video in your inbox you want to watch this video to the end at the end you're going to be finding on screen a playlist to click on that covers agricultural science past papers answered and of course human and social biology and at the top of the screen a little white circle to the top right of the screen you'll see a black exclamation mark that will give you access to answer biology no further ado, let's hop right into question number two. Define the term value chain. Now, this is about adding value to the product. And the intent of adding value to the product is to pull more customer to your business. So it's pretty much a series of activities that add value to a product. And it pretty much focuses on the company having a competitive advantage on the market. Now, if you were supposed to look at Coca-Cola versus Pepsi, these are two competing brands. So we talk about value added here. They want to have a customer to have an experience that will pretty much encourage the customer to come back to their product. So it might be the the taste of the product, it might be the accessibility of the product, it might be the customer service that is offered alongside the product. That little thing that makes sure that you want to come back. It might be the price of the product that they're using to pretty much uh, sway customer in choosing their product. So value chain speaks of that which the supplier is doing pretty much you get a competitive advantage on the market. State one major difference between the supply chain and the value chain. Now, the supply chain focuses on customer satisfaction, while the value chain focuses on the competitive advantage of the business. So you understand with the competitive advantage of the business, of course, they are pretty, pretty much pulling the customer in. But with the supply chain, what they are doing is to make sure that the product is being moved from point A to point B. So it looks pretty much at taking in the raw material, processing that raw material, and pretty much getting the goods to the market. So that would include Pepsi or Coca-Cola bringing in their raw material from their various suppliers, putting that raw material into something new to make the beverage that they make, and of course, putting in all the infrastructure that is needed to get this product to the market. That is what the supply chain is about. So the supply chain is about transferring material from one place to another, and that means from raw material through the factory, the different places in the factory, and getting that loaded onto the truck and pretty much getting it out there in the market so the customer can have the product. So pretty much supply chain focuses on getting that product to the customer. While value chain is about adding that competitive edge to the product to make sure that the customer is choosing your product so that you pretty much continue to stay relevant in the market. We all, I think, probably would have an experience with SpongeBob and his Krabby Patty. 
and plankton is trying to get that secret formula and that formula there is the value change the love that spongebob is adding to that crabby party and speaks to the value chain that's an example of value being added to the product so more persons wanting to be crabby party now, when we go to these fast food restaurants, there are some who have some nice fancy um, seats um, on the outside. You can sit on the inside, that sort of a thing. Those things refer to the value chain. What will the customer do? And SpongeBob with his crappy patty is a perfect example of a value chain. Farmers in Mount Dew have been the only suppliers of yam in their area for over 10 years. Recently, they have been complaining that the price of their yams have been reduced by 50% over the past year. So, we want to look at some clues here, as we are supposed to suggest three reasons for a reduction in price of the yams. It is that these farmers in Mount Dew have been that's a past tense so it seems the market has changed but these farmers have not so how could they pretty much what could be some of the reasons for this reduction in price it could be now that the supply is greater than the demand now if the supply is greater than the demand that is going to drive the price of the yam down the competition could be another factor. It might be that competition has entered the market. Persons are coming from other places with yams, and that is pretty much affecting the price in the market. There are probably alternative products. So uh, you went to the market and you wanted Pepsi, but there's no Pepsi. You are choosing Coca-Cola. You went to the market and you wanted um, a particular um, tin product but there's an alternative on the market um, probably cheaper so you move for the cheaper brand if you take for example in Jamaica um, Coach Jamaica is offering uh, furniture and they would have pretty much three different lines offering the product now the three different lines would be catering for the value added to the product so they would have Ashley, they would have Quartz, and they would have Lucky Dollar. All three uh, business are catering for different need, so as to look at the value added to the product, so persons can keep coming to Quartz. So alternative product, if you can't afford it at Quartz, I'm not going to allow you to go to a competitor. I'm going to be competing with myself. Try Lucky Dollar. And if you don't like the line of product there and you want something a little more upscale, go to Ashley. And Quartz is still keeping that money there. So the alternative product. Another thing is that the customer perception of the product probably would have changed. There is no need for me to continue um, buying yam. I have to peel the yam. I have to think about the price for the yam and all that. So prices are not so much in yam. Or probably persons usually buy a pound of yam that is cut now the market doesn't want yam that is cut they want one yam that weighs a pound or weigh two pounds so the perception about the product on the market has changed so that could definitely drive the price to less persons have interest in the yam and those who pretty much plan to buy it, they are if you bought it on the yam whether they should or should because um is limitation another thing is that customer spending power might have changed so it probably was somewhere that these persons are working they usually have that disposable income that has changed either the business um does not exist anymore or pretty much persons probably would have lost their job so that liquidity that they had is just no longer so um yam is a luxury item now not many persons have interest so you have more you have a greater supply on the market so that is definitely going to drive the price down. Now the quality of the yam probably would have changed. 
um, over the years, farmers are, are using the same soil to plant the yam. The fertility uh, of the soil would have changed. Probably the persons would have moved from where they used to plant the yam because of the decline in fertility. So they are pretty much, they would have moved to somewhere new. And probably the soil is not as good as the one that they had. Probably very stony. The yams have a whole lot of um, dent or depression or curves and turns and joints and all of that. And persons are just not in this the market so no longer is a farmer meeting the market demand and that pretty much could send the price of the yam down so just one way in which a farmer of Mount Dew could get better prices for their yam well naturally it happens uh, almost every other day if you create scarcity then naturally the price will go up so if they reduce the amount of uh, produce or the amount of yam on the market this could help to drive the price up. The farmers will need also to do a review of yam on the market and move to address the market need. So like we spoke about, uh, the yam might be dead and curved. What is it that the market need now? Um, is it that person that is still looking for yam that I can cut a piece and give them a pound? Or is it that person who want a yam, one single yam to weigh that pound? So look at how the market, the quality, but the market is looking for the yam is not tasting like it used to taste is it that the soil has more water is it as a result of nutrient is it that the soil is contaminated with something what is happening that would have pretty much um, driven the change in that quality demand the quality is not there person not, not liking your yam anymore i don't want that yam anymore I, if we were supposed to look at eggs there's one farmer who is it before sending the egg to the market there's one farmer who's just wiping off the egg now these are going to end up on the market as two different quality eggs and as soon as persons realize that the person who is washing the egg the egg is not like the one that is not washed it is probably soft and powdery and probably watery inside and spoiled easily persons are not going to go for that because the quality has changed now when we look at a review uh, in the shift in customer demand persons are pretty much just not looking at yam as that product again what if the, the customer could go to an alternative product probably they could go to dasheen probably they could go to sweet potato probably they could go to some other staple crop banana what if they could just change the way they deliver the yam by changing the yam from solid yam to now peeled yam peeled and packaged yam what if they could pretty much shift this yam into yam powder right so go to an alternative product that is now better meeting the demand of the market that probably would help suraj is unemployed and wants to start rearing livestock to earn an income even though he has never reared livestock before suraj has no land on which to establish his livestock farm he has identified a nearby plot of land belonging to his neighbor who, be, who lives overseas which he can use to rear his livestock suraj has not determined the size of his operation, the cost or type of livestock he wants to rear. He is advised by his friend to visit the Agriculture Development Bank to apply for a loan to purchase the livestock. Consider the scenario above advice Suraj of three challenges that he may encounter trying to obtain a loan. Well, the first thing, he will need to have a business plan. And if he doesn't have a business plan, it is it will reduce his ability to access that loan. He has no legal place on which to set up the business. So it means that you are setting up the business probably on sinking sand or on sand and when it rains it might pretty much wash away so persons might just come for their land i need my land i didn't give it a permission and there goes the bank money how will that be catered for no collateral to offer security for the loan so the farmer can't say well i can this is the thing i'm putting up against uh, the money deal. no collateral there he will have to demonstrate 
that he has the ability to repay. That has not been established. There's no real evidence that he'll be able to repay. He will have to demonstrate he has the ability to secure technical competence for the operation. He doesn't have the technical know-how. How is it that he's going to run this successful operation if he can't realistically demonstrate to the bank that I am going to be I'm employing somebody and I'll have the spending power or the amount of money needed to pay this person to pretty much secure this person for a successful operation. This takes us to the end of the 2019 Single Award Agricultural Science Paper. If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it is definitely time for you to do so. And when you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Remember to like so if this video is turned off, it will be added to your playlist so you'll always have access to it. Share the video so more of such video will appear in your inbox. Watch this video to the very end and there are some end cards on the screen you can click to access additional past papers and the other questions for this 2019 paper. There are several agriculture past papers that have been answered on the channel. You will want to access them. So watch to the end. Please. And remember, please do your best in the exams. As I usually say, remember to study to show thyself approved. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.